Lord is a strong tower. The hand of the Lord is able. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and the zeal of the Lord shall perform it. God bless you, gifted platform listener. There is too much help in God to fear anything. We are so glad you are part of the gifted family. God's word is so dependable, and so we have made it our goal and purpose to make it not only available to you, but also as practical as possible. Please stay safe. The next voice you will hear after this will be Pastor Kwame bringing you the word of God. My name is Stephanie. Shalom to you and your family. Praise the Lord. We give God the glory, honor, and praise. This is another day the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is always available every day, every season, every time. He has promised that He, he is not going to leave us nor forsake us. So we, we, we are not a people that can be miserable, even though life wants to tell us so. We are not a people that can be sad because we are never fatherless. We are never hopeless. We are never without purpose. Amen. It's just a matter of just turning to him any day, any time. I greet you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so glad to always spend time with you in the word of the living God. The flower face that lives with it, but the word of God abide forever. As well as spend some time in God's word today. I want to share something interesting with you today. Um, when I when I um, open the Bible, there are basically three things I look for. And I think I've shared one of them with you. The first I look for is what God is saying. I just get excited when God starts talking because I get to know the mind of the, the guy who did everything. You know, and I like to hear God's mind. I, I'm addicted to his mind. If we go to heaven and there's a place called the mind of God, that's what I would say. There's something about it. The second I look for is things that is in the Bible that is not anywhere else. Like things that are made in the Bible. That is only in the Bible and it's not in any place else. That's kind of the second thing I look for. And the, the third thing I look for is also things that I wasn't born with that are in the Bible. So I look for those kind of things. And today I want to share one of them with you today on a very interesting subject. And I want you to pay attention to it because um, it's going to talk a little bit about a very critical piece in the scripture. It says now in Genesis chapter 35 verse 5, Genesis 35 verse 5, the scripture says now, as they moved, God made the people of the cities that were around them terrified so that no one pursued them. Whatever God did, that I don't know how to even define it. How God made them look. I want to just um, challenge you to, 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 to understand that God is going to make you look different when people see you. In other words... God will make you look different to people. God will make you look in a certain kind of way when people look at you. And I'm going to exit the test and just show you what is happening here. But what I want to focus on is the fact that God is going to um, make you look different. God is going to make you look different. Uh, and, and, and that ability for God to make you look different when people see you that you can't buy it anywhere that's what I started by saying that when I read a scripture things like that makes me stop and wonder what exactly did God do that make these people look different because you realize that they were not different you realize that they didn't look different but God made them look different. And that is fascinating. In other words, you might not look like something, but people will see you like something. Oh, glory be to God. You might look nothing, but when people see you, they see something. And, 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 and that is so important because that is how you say safe. It's not how, it's, oh Jesus, it's not how you feel that, that, that really matters, even though it's important. But it's what people feel when they look at you. And so let me exit the test, give you a com- the, 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 I mean the, the background, and then we talk a little more about that because that point is what I want to pray over your life. That when people see you, they see something different. Amen. Now, so scripture says that in Genesis 35, God comes to um, Jacob and tells Jacob that I want you to get up and go back to Bethel. 
that was where we met. That was where uh, a divine encounter took place. So get yourself ready and go back to Bethel. And so just, Jacob, just, just like the father, they, they obey God when God says so. So scripture says, Jacob said, everybody in my house, get yourself together. Get your art together. Get rid of all the idols. Get rid of all the funny things you can be doing. We got to go back to Bethel. God wants us to go back to Bethel. And so scripture says, when they turn to go, then the scripture says, as they moved towards Bethel, God made the people of the cities around them terrify as they per- so that they would not pursue them. So I want to talk about God will make you look different when people see you. And, and, and so let me still try and let you understand what I'm talking about. The people of, I mean, Jacob and his family are moving from where they are to Bethel, right? And definitely the, ba- the, the journey is a journey that is going through the night to the day and passing through cities. And um, one of the things that was um, unfortunately part of um, journeying was that we have come to a point of history where people are more civilized than they used to be. Because back in the day, the time of Jacob, when anybody sees you, they can attack you for no reason. And they, are, they were allowed to. When anybody sees you, they can attack you for no reason and they were allowed to. And that is how people possess things. That's how people take things. That's how people grab things. So, so the journey from um, where they are to where they are going, every nation, every city, every people group that sees them, they don't have to have a beef with them to fight them. They could just fight them just like that. And there were men, there were, there were gangs, there were groups that their job is there to find travelers and kill them and take their possessions. It was as normal as ABC back then. And that's why God was leading Israel in a pillar of fire. And that's where the whole Joshua thing comes through. Because Joshua has to kind of fight to get the people to the promised land. So with that said at the background, now may, let me now talk about that thing that I'm praying that God will give you. So God is going to bring you and I to a place where we will look different than we, than we are. And it's, it's amazing, it's fascinating. The reason is because, number one, um, we can't buy that from anywhere. And let me, let me practicalize it for you before I even go for it. What I'm saying is that there's a way that God can make you look that you get a job. <laughs> there's a way God can make you look that you get a husband. There's a way God can make you look that you get money. There's a way God can make you look that you get favor. That means that you don't look like that, but people will see you like that. So Jacob and his family, they were not terrified. They were not people that intimidate you, but God made them look like that. Those are the things I say when I read the Bible, those are the things I look for. So God can make me look noble, even though I'm a nobody. Do you understand? So, so it's all oh, glory to Jesus. So their, their safety... The Bible said their safety, the safety of the people were based on the fact that God has to make them look a certain kind of way. And when they look that certain kind of way, automatically they are going to be saved. You understand that? That means that they were going through a place, oh Jesus, they were going through a place where it was risky. They were traveling through cities and towns and people that were dangerous people, but God was able to put a, an aura of terror around them. I want to pray those things over your life, and I want you to understand that those are the things that make things happen. Do you understand? Those things, you can't put makeup on it. You can't put Brazilian on it. It is something God does for a person that makes the person look a certain kind of way. Because they were not singing chant songs. They were not, they were not, oh gee. They were not like uh, saying words that makes them fearful. But God just plays this aura around them that makes everybody scared of them. Do you understand that? And God, that kind of makeup, that heavy makeup, you know, women will put on makeup and when they started this um, this home challenge, don't rush challenge, you see women trans- metamorphosis, transforming from before and after into somebody else. And, and that look makes men appreciate the beauty of women. You understand that? So you, it, in a way, that is kind of a physical way of doing that. But God has more of those auras. God has 
more of those different way he can make you look so he won't touch you oh jesus god will not really do anything to you but he will make you look like that when people see you hallelujah and that's what i want to pray over your life that you understand that but what god did which is amazing which i want you to understand that anytime you head your direction towards god you will look different before men write that down when you turn your direction towards god you will look different before men amen so as soon as jacob turned and it was facing Bethel, then this aura this presence this this kind of environment this kind of ambience came around him and everybody that saw him was scared i pray in the name of jesus that as you seek god something will fall on you and every place you will step you will be favored do, do you know the devil can play certain thing around a person that make everywhere you go people don't like you the devil can play certain things around a person that everywhere you go people don't like you everywhere you go there is a problem everywhere you go you cause commotion Every, because the end oh my god but i pray in the name of jesus that you will receive what i'm talking about the, the thing that you, you can buy in any store, you can order it online. This is what God puts on a person that makes the person look different before others. And scripture says that because of that, they went safely from where they were to Bethel because God placed that kind of thing around them, made them fearful. I declare in the name of Jesus that may God make you adorable, that people will just love you. May God make you very noble before people. May God make you a person that will attract kind people. May God make you a person that when they look at you, oh my when that happens scripture says that when that happens it becomes so powerful that you hear people say as for this lady we can't mess with her we don't know why but there is something about her and you can't even be robbed sometimes you can't be robbed because there is this presence on you that makes it impossible for people to rob you let me begin to declare that over your life father in the name of jesus we come looking unto you you are the center of our lives and therefore we pray that this spirit of god will come upon us and make us noble i prophesy in the name of jesus that a presence will come upon you that you'll be you attract good men this year a presence will come upon you you attract better jobs a presence will come upon you you attract the right people in the name of jesus you will walk under a cloud of favor. You walk under the cloud of righteousness. You walk under a cloud that none can touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.